This is Text.500C, Sampling Bituminous Materials. Proper PPE protects the worker while they're taking a sample, as shown here. Our first sample will be taken from a storage tank. The technician places the waste bucket underneath the valve, opens the valve, and drains off approximately one gallon of emulsion to purge the line prior to the sample being taken. Once the line is purged, the valve is closed and the, the clean top. sample container is placed underneath the valve and the valve reopens slowly. Remember to fill the container to the top. You don't want any air in the sample once the lid is placed on tightly. Place the lid on the container. Squeeze the side of the container slightly to raise the level of emulsion to the top to remove any air gap and screw on tightly. Now let's look at sampling from a transport using the dip method. This is not the preferred method because it entails climbing on top of the equipment, but it can be used in a pinch. The technician using a dipper dips into the material and then fills the container. Depending on the size of the dipper, it may take multiple attempts to fill up the container. Once the container is full, squeeze the side slightly, raise the level to the top of the lid, and screw the lid on firmly. Now let's look at sampling from a transport using the valve method, the preferred method. Some transports may have a valve on the side of the tank and the rear of the tank will be sampling from the rear. First ensuring the main valve is closed side valve is open. The technician positions the waste bucket underneath the drain valve and slowly opens the main valve and then opens the drain valve. Positioning to make sure the material is captured. Again this is done to purge the line of any residual emulsion. Approximately one gallon needs to be drained off prior to filling up the sample container. Now a clean container is placed in underneath the valve stem and the valve open to fill up the container. Remember to fill the container to the top. and apply the lid, squeezing the container slightly on the side to make sure the level is flush to the top of the lid, ensuring the air gap is removed. When sampling from a spray bar, 
Allow at least one full shot after the start of the workday or after cleaning the spray bar to ensure any cleaning agent has been cleared from the spray bar. Allow a minimum of one gallon of this material to be wasted prior to taking your sample. Starting with a clean container, open the valve and fill up the container. Again, the goal is to get the container full. Okay. Place the lid on the container, squeeze the side of the container to bring the elevation flush to the surface, and screw on tightly. Remember to follow the department's guidelines for verification of sample, sampling, witnessing, labeling, testing, and storage.